Hey guys, just going to do this as a as a trial run just to see if it translates over to YouTube. I haven't really seen any videos on it, but it's a game called uh, Kingdom of Amalur, The Reckoning, and this is the Re-Reckoning. Uh, it was just re-released, if you weren't aware, uh, with some uh, updated video graphics and things of that nature. So... Uh, it was originally a game put out by uh, 38 Studios, which was owned by uh, Kurt Schilling, who's a baseball player, famous baseball player. And in this save, I am going to be developing my character as a Nightblade. It's a four-step process. Uh, this is a build that I got offline. I have not tried it, but it's a Rogue Archer build. And uh, so they'll, we'll use uh, arch, uh, archery as our primary, which is not the easiest in this game. And then either daggers or fey blades, uh, which are fancy daggers, uh, as a secondary weapon. So ranged and melee combat. And uh, we will go from there. So... Um, Let's go ahead. So this is my character, and uh, RC, the female version is RC. <laughs> so we'll go with that, and uh, that way it, at least I can keep it separated. So we have woken up. We were dead, um, and there is a tutorial. So we'll go through the tutorial, and what I'll do is I'll post the entire tutorial as episode one. I've played, uh, I, I did not ever complete the game, um, but I got, I got pretty far into it, uh, the first time I played it, and then, uh, I've gotten a little bit farther, uh, since Re-Reckoning came out last week, and, uh, so anyway, this is the Well of Souls down here, this is where they bring the corpses, and, uh, they dump you, and then they pull this lever here, and evidently, ouch, that's uh, where you go. Um, but the premise of this is that you are a, we're going to equip that. You are a, um, you are basically risen from the dead. Uh oh, look at that big dude chasing him. Oh, that can't be good. But you, um, let me let me kind of pause it so we can talk because I'm I get distracted with the gameplay. Um, so you're the fateless one. You've come back from the dead in this well of souls that a gnome has been working on, and you're the first one. And so you are the first person in the universe to have no predetermined fate, and that means you can control your own destiny and you can change the destiny of everything you interact with. So, unlike a lot of games, uh, there are no really preset. You, you don't have to be just a warrior or just a mage. You can be a mage casting magic that wears heavy armor. Uh, you can be a warrior that wears medium armor that casts a lot of spells. Uh, and in our case, we are going to go with more of a traditional rogue. Uh, there will be a little magic, but not a lot. Uh, and that magic will be used to enhance some of our rogue capabilities. Uh, you do have uh, abilities in here. You have Might, which is for Warriors, Finesse, which is your rogue characters, and Sorcery. So you can mix and match and build these trees how you want. Uh, in your skills... Uh, basically, uh, my, my breakdown here is detect hidden. You want to get up to number five as quick as you can. Uh, so we'll put every level you get one, one skill. We'll put the first four into detect hidden, and then we will go into blacksmithing until level eight, and then we'll get the fifth, and then we'll finish blacksmithing. We'll get a little bit in persuasion, uh, which, yeah, you don't have to do. And we may do some in alchemy, but I don't think so. Really, it's going to be blacksmithing that we'll want to max out. Detect hidden will max out. 
and uh, persuasion we will go up a little ways and we will probably do some sage crafting as well which is uh, socketing gems so that's where we're gonna go now the tutorial basically walks you through every uh, phase so of course we've got a, a long sword here it's your left mouse button Oh, hello, there's a couple of rats. All right, so we're going to kill them. Now, if you do want to dive, it's, it's the direction and the space bar. All right, there's that guy that just killed that person. Uh, these will glow yellow. They'll have like a yellow light coming up through them. But we'll do the uh, we'll do the warrior. We'll learn how to block. It'll bring you all through these things. And uh, normally I would bypass the tutorial, but somebody's calling for help. I'm looking for any any of those chests or crates to break open. All right, jump down by hitting F. All right, there you go. To dodge, W, S, A, or D, the direction you want to go, and space. And we're just going to, you know, want to try to control them. All right. Now you can skip by hitting the space bar. I was dead, what? I'm not dead. So Professor Hughes, well, who is Hughes? You have to hit the blue one to advance the storyline. Everything else will just give you background stuff, but we can skip that. All right. And just always check everything. And anyway, all these crates and stuff, if you hit, hit them, and you can hit them with magic as well, uh, you'll get gold out of them. You can also open, uh, unblock treasure chest and here's an example of a soldier that's you see the light coming that's if they've got if they've got gear that you can loot and I or the escape button and then we go into inventory armor pretty self-explanatory it's it's pretty easy to pick up now as a rogue I want mainly uh, things that are crit or you know like the you know so that's good it's you know it's not heavy armor it's crit damage so most of your medium armor is going to be your crit and that's going to be one of the let's see which way do i want to go i don't remember i think we want to go that way yep so anyway, the tutorial will take you through everything. Right now we're in the warrior phase. And this is the actual Well of Souls. And the Tuatha are this, they call them the Fae. Think of, think of them as elves, right? All right, so that's like the end of step one. Uh, we are going to learn how to use the shield next. All right, so we're just going to break stuff open here. All right, there's a treasure chest. We'll head over here. Another treasure chest. And this is glowing, so they obviously want us to 
uh, loot that. All right, so and it, you know, as you can see, it's just walking you through everything. So we got a pair of gloves, and we've got. Uh, I want the boots, not the greaves, and we'll equip the shield. Now, here's something that you can do. If there's something that you're not going to use, you can right-click and add it to junk. It'll disappear from this list, so you're not having to sort through all that. When you get to a, vill a town, it will... It will uh, give you an option to sell all junk. All right, hold shift to block enemy attack. Now, as a rogue, we're not going to be real big on... We're not going to be real big on blocking, but it's still part of the process right walking through here and this is that you know if you've never played the game before it gives you some of the basics um to see what you might like so now we're going to pick up a longbow now here's what's interesting because you can mix and match classes and like with a bow you're limited on the number of arrows you get so we're going to make the bow well right now it's going to be our secondary Now, it says use your mouse button, which you can do, but the Q button does it well. And honestly, I find Q easier to deal with in combat. <laughs> so, now like, I don't want to use arrows, and they do repop pretty fast. And you'll see that in combat. Oh, hold on. All right, and they're dead. Now, I could have done better, but, uh, you know, hey. Don't let him press you. Break all these chests. There's nothing else going to come out. And honestly, gold is not a huge deal in this game. Uh, between blacksmithing and... All right, well, he'll come around here in a minute. And there you go. Unleash a powerful shot by holding it. And you can see, if you hold it for a long time, it will, you know, for, for a few seconds, it will give you basically what is a charged shot. Um, we are going to use that somewhat, but we are also going to be working towards uh, just using our quick shots and then jumping into, you know, eventually what we're going to do is it'll be use your quick shots. All right, we have daggers, which is better for us than our long sword. So we're going to equip those as secondary, and we're going to make our bow the primary. All right, so now we're going to hit Q, switch into those. And again, you know, play through the tutorial and, and then just kind of get a feel for which one you really like. Stealth in this game is good, but it's overrated because there's not many things that you'll be able to sneak up on in their blind spot. And if they're facing you, you have no shot. But it is cool. <laughs> you have to have daggers or fey blades. And we're going to take his Karas. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. Even though we'll be behind these two guys, once I kill the first one, the other one will be notified. And basically you saw what I did is I, I ran out of ammo. And there, that's how quick they recharge. But in between the arrows, we popped into our 
into our daggers and just took him out, right? So that right there is going to be our basic premise of attack. All right, so it's given as a magic spell at the bottom in the number one slot, and you can see it's highlighted the yellow mouse button. So that's a storm blast. Magic is pretty overpowered in the game. Uh, it's not infallible, but it will make the game easier for you. So if you're, you know, if you're liking, uh, you know, your first time through, that may not be a bad route to go is the magic route. Uh, there is a really good build that I'm enjoying. It's called the, I think, oh, you know what? I think it's called the Art Archmage. So if you do a, a Google search for Archmage, that should point you in the right direction. Uh, I'm just hitting M to open the map. Now, again, because you're able to use magic, you're able to use all kind of things. See, I'm not going to use the dented caress. I'm not going to use the robes. Block is more of a melee thing. All right, so we've got some spiders here. all right i didn't wait long enough for my um things to recharge all right so now we've got a staff all right so try equipping it now i'm not going to use a staff but you will need to carry a staff of some sort and you'll see why in just a second so melee weapons will not work spider webs are impervious to everything so we're going to take our staff and it just burns it away now as soon as we're done we're going to come out of there and replace that staff with our daggers because that's what we are that's what we're going to fight with and i know that Now you can see I'm, I'm using the charge shot more often right now, mainly because I just don't have any perks that give me additional damage. As we progress, if we keep the save going, then by all means we will get a little bit better. <laughs> just a little bit. All right, now this is where we're going to have to go back into our inventory, swap out weapons. All right, drop that out, go back to our weapons. This doesn't take very long, as you can see, but still, it's just one more thing to deal with. Now, you can shoot... And that's basically right there what we want to do. We want to maintain our distance. You know, go into melee when you're in combat, you know, when you run out of arrows. As soon as it pops, you're going to want to go back and, you know, go back to your ranged weapon. 
because we'll open some 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 of our skills that will uh, improve our abilities here. All right, we've gotten to the end of the tunnel. All right, this will this concludes the tutorial. Well, no, actually, it doesn't. I tell you what. Basically, in this room, they have a warrior chest, a rogue chest, and a mage chest. You can loot everything, take it with you, so you can sell it for early gold. And you see, we we failed to fail to persuade him because we don't have any skill in persuasion. All right, let's run over here. All right, nothing in there. You can talk to these people. All right, here's the uh, rogue chest. Take the repair kits because you'll want those. And mana potions, you know, a lot of that I'm going to get rid of. All right, so we have another set of battered armor. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of the rogue. I don't need the mage. Again, that duplicates. And weapons. Don't need the long sword. Oh, you can compare. Oh, that ain't what I wanted. Damn it. Uh, bow. So I will be back in a second with uh you know you know as we finish out the video there's one more big fight that i wanted you to see and uh so you don't need to see any of the rest of this uh, if you do want to sprint you hit the uh left control button there's some storylines here these might be worth you know a, a you know a silver or a copper to sell all right, we're coming into the, this is the actual well here. That was the power source of the well. And you see Professor Hughes up here. And I do, I do tend to bounce through these. So I apologize. If you want to read all the text, pause it. I apologize. Just, you know, that way we can get through it. <laughs> all right, where are we? More questions. Now this is important. Ooh, this is not good. So there's your first quest. All right, we can't go that way. And if we stay in here, it's all going to land on us, right? Uh, let's see, which direction? I think it's this way. Nothing in here to loot. Just look around, make sure. There's your control tip in the tutorial. All right, we do have a... Now you can see the map. We've got a couple of enemies. There is a skill that we can get later that will uh, show you the direction they're facing. And that's helpful. Unfortunately, you cannot sneak attack. Good kill dynamics. I, I do I do like those. But like I said, 
I've played no! I've played for several hours no! and there's just not not a lot to do in there. All right. So nothing else in the room to loot. Let's get out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. If these hit you, they will damage you. So All right, we do have a healing potion. Tell you what, let's go ahead and equip a few things so you know how to do that. We'll go into our consumables. All right, right click on it, map to radial, and just click a spot. Um, that is poison, so we'll map that to the radial. And now we can use, uh, you know, the radial you can open up with the tab button. And your healing is R. Your mana potions is the E hotkey. And that's a big dude. All right, I'm going to focus on these guys first. All right, that's not good. Now he does have these ranged attacks. We'll blast that dude. I think they are a little more susceptible to uh, melee combat. There we go. All right, I'm going to hit R to heal up. Oh, this is the new thing. Okay, so you have to watch. So we're going to hit the F. All right, and it wants you to hit the mouse too. And you can see that builds up bonus experience points. Now, it's not always mouse two. It could be mouse one, which is your left mouse. Mouse two is your right mouse button and space bar. So what happens is as you kill things... You see, our, I can't show you with the, up here in this corner, well, you see the fate bar? Your fate builds up. When it maxes out, that gives you the ability to hit the X button, hold it for like three seconds, and it will slow time. Your screen will kind of go that purplish color, and then you do extra damage to everything. So if you get into a, you know, if you have that up, and you have, let's, you know, five, four, five, six, you know, creatures that are uh that you're fighting go ahead and hit the x slow everything down go around and and kill everything because it'll bring them down to one point it'll show up with that letter f and then just move on to the next one once once they're down and you know while you're in that fate stage uh they won't come up and attack you and then once you've had got everything down just pick one at random, hit the F key like we just did. It will give you that graphic for the mouse one, mouse two, or space bar. And then you get bonus points uh, for every creature that you just killed in that sequence. So that's just a tip there. And that'll give you bonus points as well. This is going to be the end of the tutorial. We'll walk outside. You'll see the doorway to the tower will collapse. And there we are. We cannot get back in even if we wanted to. And here our journey begins. So we can look at the world map. It's pretty expansive. And I'll be honest, I have uh, I've played for probably 12 or 13 hours. And I've only gotten as far as Glendara, the first couple of quests in Lorca Rain, uh, a couple of quests in the Sheed or the Shide, and Haxi. Webwood, I've done a few. I have not gotten to Edmir yet in this save, my most recent one. And I have not made it past Issa into this area. So it's a pretty expansive world. And right now, it was re-released. 
they had a new company, bought it out, bought the rights. They've redone the game. The gameplay and everything's the same. Uh, but if you buy, there's a base version on Steam and there's an advanced version. The advanced version costs a little more, but what it gives you, there is going to be uh, an expansion pack with five or six hours of extra game time uh, that's going to come out according to the release in 2021. Don't know when, but you get free, you know, that will be downloaded for free. You'll basically pre buy that. Uh, and it's only a few, I think it's, you know, uh, don't quote me, I think it's a few bucks. But anyway, you can see we're here. Uh, and the first town we have to go to is up here. And it's a very expansive area. So this is what I need from you. I hope the tutorial helps you out. I hope it helps you figure out if you want to check the game out or not. Uh, unsponsored, again, I buy all these games because I'm not big enough to get free games. So, you know, this is a game I already owned. I did rebuy the uh, the Reawakening version uh, with the DLC. Um, so I really enjoy it. The gameplay is really smooth and easy. Uh, you know, I haven't found any bugs in the game, even on the original release. But um, let me know if you want to see more of this as a save, as a Let's Play. Please hit the like button and let me know in the comments below. If you do that and enough people want to see it, we'll keep going. Uh, otherwise, we will find something else to do uh, for my next save uh, down the road. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you played this or you do check it out, please let me know what you think of the game. Talk to you guys later. Bye.